YTPC. Aristopolis here, here. Loading my boy up with uh, some Captain Black Cherry here. I'd stop smoking this one for a while because uh, I begin to think that maybe there was something wrong with it. Uh, in one of Mutton Chop's videos, he talked about smelling a pipe when before you buy it to make sure there's no chemical smell. <clears throat> Which, of course, this is the one that I got with my uh, leather tobacco pouch off Amazon, so of course I couldn't smell it. But I had enjoyed smoking it for a while. But then uh, I think I mentioned in another video where a buddy of mine said that uh, it smelled really bad. I'd come, been out on the porch smoking. He said it uh, smelled really bad, and he had to go get his inhaler. Sit that over there. <clears throat> so I stopped smoking it, and then uh, I've since come to the to the uh, well, opinion that. Uh, Maybe it was because I had smoked it uh, quite a few times in a row. Maybe that was why it uh, had, had uh, developed such a stench about it. Which I couldn't tell, according, according to my buddy. So anyway, I left it alone for a while, and uh, now I'm going to give it a shot again after about a week and a half. So we'll see what happens. I still, I, it'd be a shame if I have to uh, get rid of it, because the smoke's really, really good. Seems to taste all right. Let me see here. Bring up the uh, reason why I'm doing the video. I was inspired by uh, Mr. Chad Yarborough's uh, reciting of a song he wrote called Grandpa's Pipe, I believe it was. It's been a few, about a week or so since I saw it. I actually made another video where I sang one of my songs, but uh, that one was a little too close to home, meaning that it's a little bit serious. And this thing that I'm gonna sing here is uh, it's just an obnoxious song that I wrote, if I can find it. The other one that I uh, I did was a song that I wrote for my niece. And so that's what I mean when I say it's a bit serious. It hits a little close to home. But this one is just some obnoxious thing I wrote. I decided I would give it a try and see if I could uh, write a song as if it had been written by uh, uh, Jay and Silent Bob. About a decade ago, I was at my aunt's house, and uh, I had to use the bathroom. And, uh, so I went into her bedroom, and you go in her bedroom, turn to the left, and there's a the bathroom. So I open up the bedroom door and walk in there, turn to the left, and there is uh, the bathroom door wide open, and my uncle standing there with a blow dryer, reached around behind him, blow drying his ass, and. Uh, so I, of course, uh, ski-daddled when I saw that. And uh, he didn't see me. He, I could see his eyes, but he, he couldn't see me. He has tunnel vision. So uh, I, I feel pretty confident he never knew that I even saw him. But uh, the, the image of that stuck with me for so long. And I kind of filed that away, uh, trying to figure out uh, how can I make use of that thing. And so uh, when I decided that I was going to try and uh, write a song, as if uh, it had been written by Jay and Silent Bob, then uh, I pulled that little memory out and I did a wrote a song surrounded uh, by that memory. Something tells me this is going to be a running theme, trying to keep this thing lit. 
it starts off with a rap and it ends with a rap but the but the guts of it is kind of like a, a real bluesy um, well the way I'm gonna sing it is kind of bluesy but the song itself you know like I said it's just completely ridiculous and obnoxious it's called ass hairs so let me give this a shot here water <sighs> my plans are written in stone tonight I take the throne after a shower and some cologne and a sacred ritual for which I'm known when I blow dry my ass hairs you know I'm headed where no one dares after midnight unspoken affairs other people's unanswered prayers when I blow dry my ass hairs the ladies all stop and stare they know I'm loaded loaded for bear but don't know it's in the ass hairs when I blow dry my ass hairs get the fellas all in despair mesmerized by my confident air but no clue it's in the ass hairs when I blow dry my ass hairs, my ass sends up a flare, creates a soundtrack to get me there, music the whole world can share. When I blow dry my ass hairs, my ass goes on a tear, outshines the neon glare, like with Sinatra, you just have to be there. When I blow dry my ass hairs, you best believe I'm a man without a moment to spare. Only a man who cares takes the time to blow dry his ass hairs. It's my cross to bear that I can't wash and wear. Seems unfair, but devil may care when it comes to my ass hairs. So tonight, stay off the sidewalk. Stand in the street with your gawk and squawk. Witness the gospel of the Nighthawk playing nightly on the boardwalk. <laughs> uh, how'd you like my, uh, my little emotional groove there? You know, I heard a, uh, an interview with Dean Martin uh, a while back, or I read an interview with Dean Martin, or maybe it was a soundbite, whatever. But he he made the comment that uh, when things were bad between you and Frank, they were piss poor. But when they were good, you had to be there. And I said, get that down, get that down, get that down. <laughs> I, can, I can make use of a statement like that. <clears throat> but I kind of like it. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's something I'm ready to uh, sing for my mother. <laughs> I wrote a Christmas poem for her and gave it to her for the Christmas 2013 and I went and took it to Kinko's and got him to put it on a canvas and uh, so she could hang it on the wall that's not something I'm quite ready to do with something like this but I think she'd get a kick out of it if she heard it I know I know she'd laugh senseless if she the first time she heard it but then after that, she'd kind of start analyzing it and wondering why I did this and that and would get really offended in certain parts. <laughs> my brother, I was talking to my brother on the phone a long time ago. He was just a kid. And uh, he said that he watched that movie Thelma and Louise and my mother was in the room when uh, he was watching it. And he said that... Uh, she was in there watching the movie with me and she was laughing at it and, and she was enjoying it and she started, she said, he said she started to cry in certain parts. And then she, she later on, he heard her on the phone talking to my dad and he and she told my dad she didn't like that movie. She didn't appreciate him bringing home that movie for him. He's like, I can't understand it, man. She, she was sitting there watching with me, she enjoyed it and then she went and told dad she didn't like the damn thing. <laughs> so my mom, my mom has a history of that. She, she's kind of fickle on stuff. But I think it'd almost be worth it to get that to get that belly laugh out of her the first time she heard it. 
I don't know. I just wanted to chime in with that and uh, test the waters. I've already recorded the other video. I'll probably post that at some point once I get my nerve up. This is just a little obnoxious uh, drive-by. Uh, I don't know. Squirting? <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Just to test the waters. See if you all get a kick out of it. Anyway, this is uh, Aristopolis. Hope you all are having a good day. And uh, keep an eternal ember burning. See ya.